have this horrible ringing in my head. And it changes slightly when I tilt my head. It's mostly in this ear. If you can see, they've done something to me. Uh, this ear, I hear it as well, mostly if I push on the temples, <laughs> it gets so loud. Um, and the tilting of my head, also the blood pressure, if I increase my blood pressure in any way, doing exercise or standing or moving or just pressing or, you know, uh, the sound goes up, so stress, tension, anxiety, physical work, um, position, all seems to have to do with the loudness. Also, whenever I'm drifting off to sleep, it's the loudest. So God knows what they're doing when I do finally fall asleep. And by the way, I have uh, insomnia now. I used to sleep like a baby before I was a targeted individual, but now I don't sleep at all unless I take medication, which doesn't really give me appropriate sleep. Um, as you can see, I'm aging and deteriorating rapidly. Uh, for those of you who are interested, just in case you noticed, all this discoloration here on my forehead, which you'll also notice if you can see it in this light, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, here on the neck area and along the, this, uh, this is where I was burned over and over with microwave some kind of particle beam weapon or microwave toaster oven. I don't know what it was. My girlfriend had these ones on her face and, and on different parts of her body. Um, they would zap us. We'd be laying in bed and <laughs> you feel these little pricky things that felt like you were being electrocuted with a cattle prod. Um, let's see, what else? Um, Electrocution. Somehow they electrocuted our bed. I took my fluke ohm meter and I put it onto AC volts and I measured like 30 AC volts or something. 30, I don't remember what it was, but it was a lot of voltage and a couple of amps coming from my mattress uh, and the ground, you know, between the radiator. And, and I was like doing things like tying wires to myself to the ground and then the next day they cut the pipes and replaced them with plastic inserts I guess so I couldn't ground it out um, don't ask me how they did it it must have been some kind of field effect because they were bombarding us with what Petra called the um, anyway I don't remember the big field the uh, the woo 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 field. I can't remember what she called it. Anyway, brain freeze. That happens a lot, too. After heroic doses of hallucinogenic drugs, uh, hypnotic drugs, and God only knows what other kind of crazy things we were exposed to. Uh, chemtrails, Morgellons, LSD, electromagnetic mind control, uh, Targeting, you know, gang stalking, replacement of food, break-ins, poisoning, uh, you know, couldn't get on the internet for a year and a half, covered with crazy insects, people following us around, throwing things at us, gave my girlfriend seizures, put her in the mental hospital, trying to, you know, on and on and on and on and on. On and on and on and on and on and on and on. I'm just babbling because this has gotten me insane and I haven't had my medicine today and that's sort of what they're doing. They're just like working it, working it, work, work, working it. I don't know how these people sleep at night, man. I don't know how they go home and they kiss their wives and their children. They say, honey, I love you. I love you, honey. You know what I do for a living? I torture people to death. Yeah. Oh, I just got a message from my friend that lives at 330 West 51st Street, the hotel where they were torturing us. She's telling me something about she can't breathe, her lungs are... I don't know, I didn't read the whole thing, it's so disturbing. <laughs> yes, targeting is real. 
Mind control is real, and as I slip dip deeper and deeper into uh, into the abyss of insanity through steep sleep deprivation, anxiety attacks, and coercive technology, like flowers for Algernon. I'm not sure whether I'm Charlie or whether I'm Algernon, but I'm gonna need some flowers pretty soon. Anyway. God bless you all.